Hello all. As part of the Adobe Y video series, we previously talked about all of our various pre-built integrations. But some of you may want to go beyond a pre-built integration. For those of you who do, you might ask, why would I want to use a pre-built integration when I've spent time, dollars, and energy on creating a custom workflow? That's a really good question, and it can be answered with our Adobe Acrobat Sign API. So the question to answer is, why API? Using the Acrobat Sign API, you'll be able to create and manage agreements, retrieve signed documents, embed the Acrobat Sign UI, set reminders, send agreements in bulk, download audit trails, archive signed agreements, and more. So in this video, I'm going to show you where you can access all of our information on using our API, where you can test Acrobat Signs API calls within the Acrobat Sign UI, and then lastly, how you can set up a free developer account for testing before you go into your production mode. So let's take a look. In the Acrobat Sign UI, under the Account tab, you can scroll down to find information on Acrobat Signs API. And there are a couple of steps that need to be taken in order to use our APIs. First, you need to create or have access to an application that you want to integrate with. Secondly, you need to authorize Acrobat Signs APIs to access your data with an OAuth token. And now you'll be able to make your API calls. So let's take a little deeper dive into where you'll find all this information. Let's scroll up here to API Overview, and this takes you to our API Overview page. And this is a comprehensive page where you can find information on Acrobat Signs Overview, getting a free developer account, how to create an app, creating an application quick start, how do you can manage your OAuth tokens, you can find your REST API samples, and even come down here to release notes and a lot more. So there's a ton of information here, and I always recommend bookmarking this page because it is an ongoing valuable wealth of information. Okay, going back to the account tab, I'm going to click on OAuth tokens. So here you can find information on getting your OAuth tokens. This is going to be necessary for Acrobat Sign APIs to access your user data so that you can authorize API access. In other words, the OAuth process requires the client application to request permissions from the end user before performing any actions on their behalf. So you'll be redirected to the Acrobat Sign application where you can authenticate yourself to grant this permission. The OAuth token, the OAuth process returns access tokens which can be used to make the REST API calls. Okay, moving over here to the integration key, you can also create integration keys here. And these are, can be used to enable your third-party applications to access Acrobat Sign. So here you can select the permissions to grant the application. For example, we have some pre-built integrations with Microsoft that will require this key when you set up those integrations. So it's real quick to, show, to uh, make, and I'll show you how easy it is. So I'll just call this one key five. And now I'll select my scope, user read, write, and login, agreement read, write, and send, and then library read and library write. And those are the only scopes you need. So now I'll click on key five, and I can see my integration key, and this is what you'll use to create the handshake between those applications. Okay, moving back down, I'm going to go to, to uh, documentation, and under the um, REST API samples, here, you're going to find comprehensive information on any prerequisites that are required and how to use the samples. And then moving down, you're going to see some of the common, more commonly used requests like creating a new widget with countersigners. And it'll show you the steps that you need to take and the JSON data. And then there's more examples here. So downloading an agreements audit report. You can keep scrolling, download the combined document for an agreement, download documents for an agreement and getting an agreement status, and there's a few more. Now on the left-hand menu, this is where you're going to find any information that you need to use Acrobat Sign APIs. So I'm gonna open up release notes here. We're always going to keep you up to date with your release notes, so come in here and explore. And when I say comprehensive, uh, I'm not exaggerating. Uh, this is one that you're going to wanna to reference often. Okay, now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna to come to the REST API methods documentation. So here you're going to be able to find information on different versions of our uh, REST API methods. And if you want to test out AP, API calls, 
just to get familiar with them and how they work before you create a developer account, we've got you covered. So here you can read about how to set that up. It's a three-step process. So one, you just obtain a unique set of credentials for use in your app. And then secondly, you'll get your OAuth access token and you'll use that token in the REST endpoints to perform operations. And now you can make uh, your API calls using our try it out functionality. And the benefit here is that uh, this is familiarity is going to give you a real good idea as to how things will go in your developer account. So here you also have access to developer implementation notes. Now scrolling down, you will find your endpoints. So if I open agreements, I'll be able to see my post and my get endpoints that are germane to agreements. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use some of these endpoints to do a simple signing ceremony. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, you will want to get a free developer account. And this is where you can work out any issues that come up with your integrations before you go into your production account. So all you need to do is just come here and fill out the form. So in this form, you'll just give us basic information and you'll use a drop down here to say why you want to be a signed developer, whether for sign, uh, Acrobat Sign integration only. So if you want applications to work with Acrobat Sign or you can select OEM Bed, did, which will uh, give you the ability to natively embed Acrobat Sign functionality into your platform, mobile app, or website. And when you are approved, you'll just get this quick email. Well, it doesn't take very long. And uh, this is a pretty good email. So not only is it a welcoming email, but it will also speak to uh, specifically why you became a signed de developer. So for example, if you want to build a connector to Acrobat Sign, you have a link here with step-by-step -step process to do just that. If you want to include e-signature functionality into your application, we can educate you on that process also. So for both, you can come here and go to View Resources, and you'll be able to see um, links for both OEM Embedded and Integration Only. So this is our developer site. So when you scroll down, you'll be able to learn more about uh, different customer experiences using our API. You can access API samples here. You can view our e-signature workflows, and you can learn a lot about our uh, security also. So this is a great page to bookmark. Now scrolling back up, under Integration Only Partner, I'm going to click on Learn More. Now when you select this, now you can start to dig into the steps that you'll take to integrate Acrobat Sign into an app. With your new access to Acrobat Sign API, you'll have step-by-step -step instructions on how to build test, and deliver your solutions that integrate with Acrobat Sign. And this is the key here now is that you do have the ability to test. And as you can guess, you know, testing is key. You can work out all of the kinks before you go into your production environment. And when you go live, you'll have that confidence knowing that everything is going to work error-free. One of the last things that I want to show you is our FAQ page. When you think about it, this page is born out of all of those that came before you, what they tried, what worked, what didn't work, and what questions they kept asking. All of that information went into the creation of this FAQ. So in here, you're going to find documentation links, answers to general concepts, information on user or user account management, initiating and sending agreements, managing, getting information about agreements, uh, information on library templates and web forms, and even some more use cases. So this link is going to evolve as all of you do. So I definitely make sure that you do um, bookmark this. Okay, so to summarize, in this video, we covered how to explore Acrobat Sign's API capabilities within the Acrobat Sign application. And to help you get started, we've made available the ability to test APIs directly from within the Acrobat Sign UI, a free developer account, documentation for all steps as they relate to the OEM embedded or integration only scenarios. And we also have an ongoing list of FAQs for your easy reference as you're setting things up. Now in the following video, I'm going to put some of these API calls to work and show you, um, show you how the, they can be used to send an agreement out for signature. So that'll be a good way for you to see firsthand why API.